Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, this week I'm going to go ahead and answer some of those questions I left behind. Now, I've got one question from Guy. No, not the butter. He's asking a question about his onboard generator. He's got a toy hauler. And he says, hey, can I use the same rec fuel, and I'm assuming he's talking recreational fuel, um, that I'm using for my toys uh, for my generator? So here's the question. Let me go ahead and answer it, all right? You got a toy hauler. You got two different tanks in there. Most toy haulers have two tanks. You got one for the onboard generator, if the RV is equipped with the generator, and then the other tank is for your toys. And Guy asked the question, hey, that fuel that's inside that I typically have for my recreational vehicles, is that fuel okay to use in my own end generator? Well, first and foremost, we need to understand what rec fuel is. I don't know, because of course, you're just determining what rec fuel is. So let's go ahead and look over what we need in order for that generator to run properly. Well, the first thing we wanna do is everyone starts looking at octane. Do I just get regular unleaded, uh, you know, super premium, 85, 87, 93 watt? Onan doesn't have anything in there, but we look at other generators, generally accepted is gonna be about the 87 octane. All right, the higher the octane, the cleaner it is. In other words, there's less additives, okay? Now here's the problem, all right? Now the generator will run off the 87 or the 93, okay? But the problem that we have with most of us is, is that generator doesn't run every single day, so the fuel that we put in there is a lot older. And the higher the octane you, uh, level of gas you have, the less additives in there, and less stabilizers uh, that you put in, you know, that you would normally get in there. The main thing is, is to go with the higher octane, whether it be the 87, you can go with the 93, but you need to put in a stabilizer in that fuel. You see, you got fuel just sitting there down the lines, and then the worst place, of course, is gonna be in that little bitty carburetor pocket, okay? And the fuel will denigrate sitting in that carburetor pocket. This is why you're supposed to run your generator for at least 15 or 20 minutes every 30 days. You wanna try and cycle that fuel through there and keep from that fuel uh, degrading inside the carburetor. When it comes to the level of fuel or the type of fuel, what I'm gonna recommend first and foremost, if you can get the non-ethanol gasoline, that's what you'd really wanna put in there to preserve the length uh, uh, and lifespan of your generator. But if you do, uh, you got no other choice, the 10%, but what you wanna do is make sure that you treat that fuel. Now, you can get something like Stable, you can get something like Seafoam. There's other stabilizers, additives that can actually help uh, the condition of that um, gasoline, keep it from denigrating, and that's what you want. But the main thing is go ahead and just cycle it. Now, the one thing you don't want to do, if that gas has been sitting there for months, don't run it. I mean, just go ahead and, you know, properly dispose of it. Uh, and go ahead and cycle it. So what does that mean for you? Well, that means don't fill it up if you're not gonna use it all the time, right? So only fill up a portion of what you're going to use and then keep that flowing. That's really the best thing to do. So it's not so much about, hey, can I use rec gasoline fuel, whatever that is, right? It's <clears throat> what are you doing to keep that gasoline that you're putting into your tanks fresh and keep it from breaking down. So this is where we're having some type of stabilizer, some type of conditioner that you want to put in there. Follow the directions on that. And of course, from season to season, don't, you know, cycle that fuel out. Don't run that through. And then of course, run that generator 15, 20 minutes every 20, 30 days, somewhere around there to keep that fuel, you know, you want to keep that fuel uh, moving and keep it from denigrating inside the carburetor. That's all I got. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, Roll the bloopers. You're gonna press the rec button. Rec button is produced. But if you get the opportunity to get non-ethanol uh, alcohol. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and answer. Nope, I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, boom.